The Delta Stewardship Council is called to order for purposes of establishing a quorum. We're going to start with Mr. Nordhoff. Nordhoff is present. Ms. Marcus? Present. Mr. Fiorini? Eisenberg here. Quorum is established. Okay. Shh. Uh, I'd just throw it at somebody if I had a gavel. Uh, <laughs> scared everyone away? Hardly. Hardly. Okay, uh, Mr. Grindstaff, uh, reflect uh, just for a moment before we start Chapter 5 uh, on yesterday's stuff and what you've been thinking about since. I know little enough about this. Shh. <clears throat> Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. There, uh, we had a lot of discussion yesterday, and I think we got some clear direction. And in some cases, we got direction to bring things back uh, in two weeks. And the challenge will be just getting that all written up in a way so that it's uh, clear about the choices that we're making. Uh, I think one of the things we're going to want to do is make sure that uh, we have a checklist well, and I like that terminology. We talked about it earlier, so that the chair and vice chair can go through when they review the uh, red line to make sure that we have addressed everything that the council uh, uh, wants changed in the document. I should mention that there are many issues that we aren't talking about because they are relatively non-controversial. So some of the er errata changes that we had, uh, I, I'll give another example. Something that came in. Uh, after we released the sixth draft, we got a document from DWR, uh, the State Water Project, documenting uh, issues they have with maintaining uh, the system in place. And, and so there's information that we'd like to actually include in the plan that uh, we didn't have before. I would expect there will be significant amounts of those kinds of things that go on. And so what we're going to try and do at this next meeting is just uh, lay out all of those so that everybody is in agreement conceptually of everything that goes in uh, to the next draft. One of the other things that uh, Dan actually reminded me of is uh, how, how much work we're teeing up for the council itself over the next year. So I'll, I'll just kind of read some of the things that we have. Something that we uh, haven't spent a lot of time on in the Delta Plan is short-term projects. Uh, but that's clearly something the council is very interested in and many of the speakers have talked about. And our plan right now is to tee that up for the council to take uh, a position on some projects while we're in the process of going through the EIR, the programmatic EIR on, on the Delta plan itself. We have to start up the implementation committee. Uh, one of the projects we have uh, in the Delta Plan is the implement the levy prioritization project that has, you know, setting uh, flood elevations and, and evaluating levies. BDCP is expecting to release their draft in September, and the council, in addition to the Independent Science Board, will need to be uh, heavily engaged in commenting on BDCP as it moves ahead. The science plan is uh, scheduled for the next year. Um, the finance plan, which we'll talk about uh, later on this, uh, this morning, is another really big challenge uh, task. And then the governance recommendations. Uh, uh, all of those are major tasks that, that we're teeing up for the council to tackle over the next few months. So be prepared. Be prepared. Okay. Uh, all right. 